So I have a mini excavator with a thrown track. I'm going to put together a video for you to show you what to do if you have a thrown track on a mini excavator. I'm figuring if you're watching this, uh, you don't have your excavator located as conveniently as I do for the uh, track repair. I've done this many times in the woods and in the mud. It's no fun, but the process is the same whether you're in your shop or you're in the woods. It's just less pleasant in the woods. This is the configuration for how you should place the machine so that you can get access to the track. What you're gonna to need to do is uh, release the grease tensioner and that's in the hole that's uh, right here in the middle. Here's what's inside that opening. In order to uh, release the grease pressure, you have to take this bushing out. This bushing is what holds the grease pressure. Here's the grease zerk. That's what you use to tension the tracks. In my situation, it's a uh, 19 millimeter socket. You're gonna wanna put something under there to uh, contain the grease. Hopefully we get a good shot of the grease coming out. There we go. And then what I'm gonna do is use an iron bar to get the, the track back over the high uh, loop. Simple as that. Now what I'll do is just drive the, uh, the track forward. Use a lock and loop coupler, put it right on there, set the dial with it. That's 50 pumps. That's 100 pumps. like about 120 pumps if you're using a handgun. So that's how you fix a thrown mini excavator track. Thanks for watching. If you need to uh, rent an excavator in the Hudson Valley, give me a ring. Thanks.